hello everyone welcome back to my channel um first i have to say that i apologize for the background noises if you're able to hear them um one is my printer i'm printing and the other is um my dog she is barking quite a lot and i cannot get her to stop okay so anyway i have a few of um my books that i want to share with you guys because i've been getting a lot of questions um about the uh books that i use mainly the ones that you guys recently saw but um i've also gotten some questions over the um my edith holden book so we're gonna get into <laughs> that one in a bit and i want to share um some of these Edith Holden books. But first, I am going to start out by saying, um, you guys, I think I probably have, I know I have 20 plus um, Edith Holden books, and probably um, that's in the um, Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. I also have um, a few of the others that I'm going to show you now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the book up like this and then I'm going to point out the ISBN number and then I'm going to flip through some of the pages. Okay, so you can get um, some idea if um, you wanna purchase um, some of these books. And this was cute. This is a little girl that wrote this for a corner page. I'm gonna put that back on there because I think that's just too cute. I wanna leave that there. So, um. This is the birthday book. And all of the images are Edith, Edith Holden images, but um, and as in most of these books, or all of these books, but um, the layout is just a little bit different, as you can see. They're all, um, they all have the beautiful images. Okay, so there's that one. And this is um, the same as the others, but this one is, um, where's my ruler? I think this one is the five by seven. Um, and this one is, that a, does that look like five by seven? Now that is, um, we're not gonna focus on that because I think these are the five by seven. So it's just a smaller version of this one. Okay, so that's all that is. And I like the smaller ones because when you're doing a, um, a smaller journal, these come in very handy. So this is the one that um, most people have or um, most people um, know about or talk about. Um, and this one is readily available. Okay, so um, this is the one that I always use because the others are um, a little more pricey and um, a little bit harder to come by, okay? So that's the bigger one. And I thought that I had one that was even bigger than this. I thought I had a couple, and um, I'm sure I do in storage. But there's that one. I didn't make a room to get these out of the way. And there's also um, this one, Nature Notes of the Country Diary of an Edwardian Lady. And um, it is just laid out in calendar form which um, is good because you have those lines to journal on. But as you can see, it's the same images. So that's the title of the book. And there's the ESBN number, ESISBN number. Now this is um, the nature notes. Um, I have several of these and I don't even think I've used them at all perhaps once or twice, um, not much, but very similar. Like I said, the layout is just a little bit different. Just a lovely book. And you can tell the differences in them as well. Just lovely images. Let's go to August. And see, that's the difference um, that I noticed at first, um, the image for the August. It doesn't have those beautiful um, purples and burgundy. 
images. But I don't want this to be too long of a video, so let's keep it moving. There's that. And um, there is also the Country Diary of a uh, book of creating a butterfly garden. This is by EJM Warren. This is the ISBN number. Can you see that? And um, take you to the inside of it. And this is very beautiful. I have yet to use this book um, as well. But there's um, the Edith Holden image. But that's just gorgeous. I should have used it in, in my, um, my most recent um, journal. But anyway, so there's another Edith Holden. So as you can tell, um, just some Edith Holden images along with um, some more current images as well some um, actual photos so this is a lovely book to have and add in your journals as well okay so there's that one I already showed you the um, the ISBN number and this one um, I purchased it I thought it was gonna be a little bit different and I don't think that I will include it in um, a journal, I will probably just use it as a journal. Um, but anyway, um, there's the ISBN number there. And let's take you to the inside of it. Just to show you. There's that. And I love all of that. Okay. But see, you have lots of um, room to journal yourself which is what um this is supposed to be used for but i was thinking that i could incorporate that into a journal and you know i can you can so we'll just um we'll see how it goes with that one okay so there's that one now this one is the country diary herbal i have a few of these um there's that isbn number and uh, we'll take it to the inside of it. So you see the little Edith Holden images throughout as well. And then I like this one um, in case you wanna do, look at that, that lavender. But anyway, something focusing on the herbs and stuff this is um this would be really good for that because um um i also have um this small little book and um i like using the smaller books because they add um just different variation in your journals with the smaller pages you know just having um pages of different sizes so um that's why i pulled these out because these are smaller journal i mean smaller pages for your journals so i have that one and this one is um the country diary cookery notes for um i want to do some uh, um recipe journals um here pretty soon and the ISBN number is covered up there. But it should be on the inside somewhere, right there. Okay, and I'll show you guys to the inside of it. So they've just um, made quite a bit of money <laughs> off of... Um, Edith Holden, her work. So there's that one. And this one is um, completely different. This is um, Marjorie Blamey's Flowers of the Countryside. And it's nice as well. 
and I think I only have one copy. If I have two, um, I'm not sure. It's probably just one. If anyone would be interested in this one. It's lovely as well. Very beautiful images. I love that purple. Lots of beautiful images in that one. Okay, so the best way, because you guys were also wanting to know um, where I purchased um, these uh, books. And the um, what I'm going to tell you is the easiest way to um, purchase these journals is go to Google and um, type in the title, or you can put the ISBN number. But um, I usually just type in the title because you'll not only get that book, you'll get a lot of other um, book suggestions, which is why I've come across um, the wide variety that I have. Um, so when you pop that into Google, it's going to give you um, the vendors that sell the book. And you can, from there, shop around and see um, the different prices because it'll have... Um, the different prices um, of the vendors that are selling it. So, um, and I used to, that's why I knew everybody was going crazy about the Edith Holden um, books. So I knew I had to grab as many as possible. Plus I kept buying them because I didn't want to cut into them. And so I knew I had to purchase a big quantity um, in order to do that um, with ease. And so I became addicted to, to uh, purchasing those books. So I used to could get them for three, four books. And now I see that um, they are going up. I will tell you that you can get some books for, um, I think, still like five or six, seven books on um, eBay. But yeah, they used to be really cheap. And now they're kind of the price is going up on them. So um, you guys have it because I have more than enough. Anyway, um, I also have quite a few of these books because I fell in love with these books, you guys. And so when I fall in love with something, I want to make sure that I have um, some that I'm going to keep that I do not want to destroy and ones that I'm going to tear up. And so the ones that I tear up are generally the ones that are kind of um, used and a little more worn. So anyway, these are um, paperscapes. Okay, the Paperscapes books. They're, um, this one is by Matt Merritt. As you can see, there are four different ones. Okay, um, I, there's a bird one. Um, this is, oh, that's really small. You'll probably have to blow that up or I can go on the inside. So I do want to show you guys, um, for those of you who do not, may just be watching this uh, video some of um, the images so you you just tear um tear around it and it gives you like it can give you like a 3d effect okay but i love how it has all of the information not only the beautiful images but um the information on the birds as well let me do like this i can flip better that way if i can it's, these pages are thick you guys because they have to be able to hold up once you um tear them out or, and tear around the images. Ah. Okay, so as you can see, beautiful images, how beautiful um, these books are. Now I need to find the um, ISBN number. They just want to write really small. Okay, here it is again. If you guys can see that, maybe you can uh, screenshot it and then blow it up on your phone. Yeah, because that's the only one that I see. So this one is the butterfly one, James Lowen. And there is the ISBN number on there. Let's get closer. No, that's not going to work. 
Let's try the inside. There it is. Still can't see. Well, you guys, you're probably just going to have to punch in that title there, okay? And so I want to show you guys some of um, it as well. They're just so stunning. That looks like the one from um, Tim Holtz Botanical that I use in that journal. I wish I had um, paid attention to that a little bit better. I would have pulled that one out. But anywho. And you can just, just everything is just beautiful about this book. Everything. And if you pull all the pages out that's and tear everything around it, that's what they look like. That right there. Okay, so you guys love, 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 love the rose on the um, that book on the cover. Do a quick flip. Okay, this is one of the ones I didn't tear out because I did use that image in the journal. sunflower right by the rose how perfect is that So, I must say that, um, you guys, this is um, really sad because I love trees. Believe it or not, I absolutely love trees, like seriously. Um, I hate to see that we're cutting them all down. Um, my town used to be so beautiful, and it still is because when you come into town, you just have these beautiful, majestic trees and you see all the bulldozers and they're just cutting them, <laughs> cutting them down and putting up all this concrete. And it's like, how much, how many different places can you go? You know, it's like a country town, a small town. If you want all that, go 45 minutes or an hour to the big city to get all of that. But anyway, that's my little rant for the day. And so it's really sad because you guys know I love paper. So, um, yeah that's shameful of me but I do love paper and I do love my trees so I don't that's kind of hypocritical but there you have it so anyway um I could only find one copy of this one so this one will not be if I do put any of the pages in a journal it will be a journal for myself probably I don't know because they are quite a lot aren't there there are over a hundred pages in each journal. I mean, in each book, I believe. So, look at the mangoes. Just beautiful. I mean, yeah. I think this one will stay intact, you guys. I don't think I'll pull that out. Excuse me, but who knows? Okay, so here are a few others. I'm gonna um, hurry up and rush through this. There's that one. And uh, where's the ISBN number? Um, right there for that one get up closer okay so let me flip and show you guys what this one is about right there just a beautiful pop of yellow love it Yellow. 
Um, and this one is the Country Flowers of a Victorian Lady. Um, I, lo I love the um, Victorian era, even the Edwardian, all of the old, um, old, old stuff. There's the ISBN number for that one. And let's show you guys what's inside. This one I've not touched because I want to say that it's um, kind of special. And these pages, are um, they have the shine to them. They're kind of the shinier ones or that. But this one would be good in a um, medieval type journal because of all of the um, writing. But it's just gorgeous. And I have some kits that I got from um, Medieval Mirage. Maybe I can incorporate some of these pages in there. There's that one. And England is a garden. Um, I purchased this again. For some reason, I thought I didn't have a copy. That's really sad. So, I need to use it then. But these are lovely as well. So I'm pretty sure that um, this is um, a long video, you guys. So thanks for um, hanging in there with me. But I love all of the illustrations of... Um, the buildings um, and the houses, along with um, the flowers. Okay, so there's that one. And this is um, the last one that I'm going to show you guys. I do have other books I would like to share with you guys, but that will be later on um, down the road. So um, I love this one as well. Now, um, you can go on, like I said, go on Google and look for these books. Um, some of them may be pricey. Some of them may not be. Maybe you can find a, a deal on some of them. But I am going to be listing some kits, um, different kinds of kits. I'm going to do that after um, I finish um recording this uh video and i will look at that that's just gorgeous um list those things um those kits in my etsy shop and i will have um some pages from the paper skates books for you guys for those of you who may not be able to afford um the book or just need you know um a combination of some of the stuff that i have but anyway, you guys, um, so you see that it's lovely, isn't it? And I haven't touched this book as well. And I have one, two, three, I have four copies of this one. I don't know why I haven't touched it. But anyway, um, you guys have a lovely night, day, evening, wherever you are.